All right, we need to settle this right here, right now for everyone watching. If you're ever playing like kickoff mode against your friends, PSG's off limits. You cannot use them in FIFA 22. They are literally about to be a cheat code in this game. And today we're putting them to the test in career mode. As you guys can see, we are back on FIFA 22, given early access here to uh, make some videos for you guys. Today, we're jumping on career mode yet again. This is all thanks to the EA game changers who have given us access to an early build of FIFA. As I've been mentioning, I got to do this intro, man. It's an early game. It's not finished. Ratings are not finished. Um, ratings are not final. Excuse me. Everything in this game will be probably changing upon launch. Not everything, but a lot of things will be change so don't take this as a complete copy of the game so manage your career mode today boys obviously this is a video on psg so we're not going to be using the creative club feature we're actually going to be controlling a legit team and it is time to put this god squad to the test so what we've also going to done here is update the groups for the new champions league just all the new teams this year yeah i have not updated it so i have to go do it myself and a few teams are left out like one let me add sevilla to group g senate is not in the game so we just have marseille in here um who else is missing one of the portuguese league teams is missing here Befica because you can only add two teams from Liga Nos it, it, it's just so dumb I also am gonna need to add a financial takeover because players like Messi and Hakimi and a bunch of them are not on the team because the, the the roster didn't update it so I'm gonna actually have to sign them onto PSG before we begin but with that let's get into this career mode and we are about to run things with PSG G. All right, so the first thing as we jump into this career mode, what are we are going to do is sign all the players to one of the team. Let's figure out who is missing. So obviously there is no Messi. We have Wijnaldum and Ramos. Hakimi is actually in here as well. Unfortunately, he's not a right back in this, and it's going to be hard to train him to that. Wait, have they updated it? Donnarumma. I think they. I think everyone but Messi is signed to this PSG team. Okay, Messi 93 overall. This is, again, the older build of the game. Well, it, it, it's an older build of the game that is going to be released uh, for FIFA 22. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is the rosters are also just very far behind. The only thing that we get updated, actually, some of the transfers and then the ages are obviously older because this game's a year older. So 34-year-old Messi right here. Wait, hold on. Barca want Di Maria? No, dude. No, just, just, just let me sign Messi. Accept my offer. All right, there we go. It's been done. God, dude, these graphics are looking sick. Did you guys see Messi's beard? This is the first time I've done a career mode using Messi on this build. Come on, sh show me Messi. I want to see him. Look at that quality, man. The beard looks so realistic. All right, there it is. Messi has officially been signed. So I feel like I guess I need to explain what we're actually doing in this video. Obviously, controlling PSG. But I feel like everyone wants to know just how good is this team going to be in the game. So a big thing is we're not going to know the actual ratings of these players until we get the full version. Like, my guess is players like Hakimi might be a little higher rated. I don't know what they're going to give Messi and Ronaldo. I I, I want to say they'll probably both be like 93. <laughs> I can see Mbappe getting upgraded to like a 92 overall. We are going to be playing the career of the career. We're going to be playing... Uh, I guess you could call it a career. Playing the career mode with PSG for three seasons just to see how good they can become. I am going to allow myself with this team one signing per season. And as you guys can see, we used the financial takeover. They finally, with the financial takeover this year, let us take over a team with one billion pounds. So yes, when the time comes for our one signing each year, it can pretty much be anyone. And let's be honest, with the way PSG has been spending, I would be fairly confident that they have a budget over this amount like psg uh, the people who own them are probably some of the, the most rich people in the world so no signings in this first season because let's be honest they've made enough signings well actually i guess we can do this one right here too because nuno mendez was just signed but i he was another one who wasn't updated in this build of fifa also while we're at it let's see if we can change these positions so hakimi to a right back i believe this is what he is going to play for the team Right wing back only takes 18 weeks, but uh, we're not really playing with wide backs or wing backs. So we'll use, we'll just do normal right back. And then I'm actually going to take Lionel Messi and you guys saw their formation. I'd rather him actually play Cam. Two weeks for that. So that should be easy enough. All right. So Mendez, that offer has been accepted. We're going to bring him in. Okay. So we got Mendez onto the team and Messi's position has finally been changed. Let's see if this bumps up his rating. He might be too old, but sometimes when you train someone to Cam, it bumps their rating up. Messi... I told you, man. He goes up to a 94 with that. All right. Are we ready for season number one of, of three total seasons? BSG, you have been given everything you need to win the treble. Can they actually do it, though? Since we're doing three seasons, I think that we should expect with a team this good, 
two trophies minimum per season. And every year, one of those should be League on, and of course, we're gonna win it. Listen, man, this was pretty much before Messi and all of these insane players joined PSG. They, I mean, they're always the top of League One, at least in FIFA. Honestly, kind of broken, man. League on is in shambles. If you guys didn't see, they're no longer one of the top five leagues in the world. They've been demoted. Liga Nos is now considered a bigger league than League on. Isn't that crazy? Messi plays in a club in a league that isn't a top five league. Isn't that mad? And we haven't won the League Cup. This was the same way it was in FIFA 21, man. For whatever reason, especially in League on, it's so hard to win both. And the dominance begins. Look at what we have here. Man City failed to make it out of Group A. Will they this come true in real life, man. Club Rouge, that's crazy. This is, in my opinion, the group of death. Or this. I mean, both of these are just crazy difficult groups. Liverpool and Atletico Madrid making it out. Borussia Dortmund and Ajax, Real Madrid and Shakhtar. No Inter Milan going through, bro. Is Inter Milan's dominance in FIFA over? Because if you guys remember in FIFA 21, they were crazy. Holy crap, all of these big clubs are losing out. What is going on, man? This is, um... This is actually a bit of a madness in these groups. All right, PSG, just go on and win it for us. There it is. There it is. PSG, there it is. Beating Chelsea. How about another one? Yep, beating uh, beating Juventus. And um, sure, yep, easy. I mean, they're really that good, guys. Trust me. They, they are absolutely insane. So here's where they're, they could be in a little bit of trouble here. They may be good, but they have so many older players on their club. So like Messi dropped one overall. Freaking Di Maria dropped three ratings. Neymar improved along with Mbappe. Verratti actually went up one as well. But look at that. Ramos is straight to the mud. So that's where we could have an issue. But remember, the way we're doing this is um, we're going to get at least one signing per season of whoever we want. I think one signing's fair enough because, I mean, let's be honest, it's PSG. They, are, they will be making some signings in the future. Here's the only thing, though. Mbappe. In real life, he will be a free agent. Let's see if someone signed him on pre-contract, and it doesn't look like anyone's has. So if players do end up signing with others on pre-contract, I will definitely let them leave. But since no one's gone on and signed Mbappe, um, we are going to do what I don't I don't necessarily think PSG will do in real life, but we we will extend a contract to him, at least in the game, because, I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want to sign Mbappe? So it looks like Di Maria is going to be joining Atletico Madrid. He has left on a pre-contract. Xavi Simmons, we will go ahead and resign. And, dude, look at his new... His face scan in FIFA, man, is looking really, really good. That hair, man. I need to get myself some hair like that. Your top goal scores from this first season, Neymar, Mbappe, Messi. I mean, that pretty much what it's going to be in real life. Together, they get themselves well over 100 goal contributions together. So what did I say? Averaging two trophies per year so far, we are on track to do just that. Time to jump in to season number two. Let's see who we're going to be adding to this squad. Now, man, there's so much I want to do. A center back, a right winger. You guys don't understand how tempted I am to do this and bring in Cristiano Ronaldo. Dude, I was hoping so badly this would happen in real life, man. It was all set in place. Ronaldo to join up with Messi and then PSG just weren't interested. Which, how, how would you not be interested in teaming up Ronaldo and Messi on the same club? Here's the thing, man. He's older and he's going to start increasing an overall so i'm thinking we bring in someone younger to replace Di Maria on the right wing position in career mode now you guys can't even like fault me for saying yo b for that's unrealistic because with the transfer window we've had dude nothing is realistic anymore i'm thinking we go for muhammad salah steal a player from liverpool because they're obviously just such a beast of a club a perfect replacement for Di maria in my opinion I feel like, feel like the highest rated replacement at right wing. Let's do it, man. Only around 100 million for a 90 rated right winger. Let's offer 110. What are we saying? What are we saying? Jurgen Klopp, he agrees. Oh, wow. That was easy. We move, boys. This team, just when you thought, man, PSG couldn't get any better. And they go on inside Mo Salah. So Ronaldo, wow. We just got to say RIP to Messi and Ronaldo, I guess, ever teaming up together. The only thing I will say I am a bit worried about, though, is going to be this defense moving forward. Okay, we got Kimpembe and Diallo, too, coming off. That's it. And Sergio Ramos is literally on the way down in terms of his overall rating. To be honest, I wonder how long Messi's going to last. Only 12 months left in his contract it doesn't look like he wants to retire though i will be renewing contracts this year yet again on the final day so that if these players do want to leave they can leave so messy man please please don't sign somewhere on pre-contract i want to sign two players so bad but we're going to keep it at one because i don't want this team to get too op again knowing the money that psg have they could easily probably bring in whoever they want um and I could imagine next year, especially if they do sell Mbappe, which well, it doesn't like they're selling him, but Mbappe is going to leave. So they're going to need a replacement at striker. So the sky is the limit, man. PSG could afford anyone they want. But for us, we 
are only going to buy one per season. All right, back-to-back -back Champions League. Can we do it? Let's go ahead and sim season number two. Yo, oh, look, we've actually God. made the cup final. Oh, my God. Okay, sick. I mean, it, it doesn't happen a lot, but hopefully that means that we still won League on. All right, simming to the fourth. And as soon as I do this, we will have our first trophy of the year. One. Yes, on pens. We'll take it. Imagine that means we took in L and League on. Please. Please, no. Please give us a W. Please. Please. Please, game. Yes, let's go. 89 points yet again, man. I'm telling you, it's literally impossible for PSG to lose this league. It's It, it, it can't happen. So we already saw we won this. That is four trophies in a total of two seasons. All right, how about this? Back-to-back -back Champions League. Let's see. Let's see if any other big teams are getting eliminated like last year. That was kind of mad, man. Like, Man City, Bayern Munich got eliminated this year, though. It looks a little bit more realistic. Yo, 4-1-1 one one in the group. I feel like for PSG, that's kind of bad. Dortmund United, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal back in the Champions League. All right, let's see how things went. PSG, are you kidding me? No, bro, we got knocked out in the round of 16. Don't tell me Arsenal are about to win the Champions League. Oh, hello, oh yeah. my God. Yo, FIFA 22, man. I thought this game was supposed to be like somewhat realistic. Are Arsenal actually cracked? Uh, should this video, should I change the title to Arsenal are absolutely cracked instead of PSG? Fair freaking play to Arsenal. At least we did get our two trophies, but um, that's unfortunate, man. Arsenal, really? The Arsenal memes are just back to stay, I guess, man, here in FIFA 22. All right, the team, I'll actually take that, you know? Messi has um only dropped three rating. Well, I guess four. He was at 94 in the first season, wasn't he? Salah going up. I mean, Mbappe has had a 95 overall. At this rate, Donnarumma was definitely the starting goalkeeper. Marquinhos is up to a 90. And Ramos, man, it's looking like we're going to need to sign a center back next year. Other than that, man, I mean, players are improving. And look at, oh, Mendez is definitely our starting keeper now. Wait, did I just say starting keeper? I meant starting left back. Yeah, I'm guessing the CPU has been playing him over uh, Bernat. Dude, I, I, I still can't believe what just happened how, how has arsenal just won the champions league we gotta see who's on their team man i mean Naki williams they have victor Aussie, man he signed rodrigo too okay arsenal i see you out here making some big signings yo they have made arsenal so unrealistic man like when would they when would arsenal ever go out and sign rodrigo i'll give it to them dude their team's actually really good fair play Salah was their top goal scorer the new signing and again man our top four players they're just way too good oh you know what we need to check has anyone signed a Messi on a pre-contract? Here's a list of all the players that are eligible to sign with another club on a pre-contract. No, dude. Actually, you know what? This isn't as bad, but Ramos is going to Arsenal, dude. Oh, my God. Arsenal is just making moves in career mode. To be honest, the rest I really don't care about. The only one is Messi. And Messi is not leaving. Let's go. That means um we're going to be able to re-sign the boy. Bye -bye boy. I offer... I, I, just, I just tried to sign up with the generic contract they gave me. Are you kidding me? They consider our initial offer too low. No. Dude, FIFA 22 just started and I'm already taking massive L's. How about if I sim to the end of the month? Will it let me offer him a new contract? Hopefully. Please, game. Please, dude. If not, maybe I'll have to try to sign him as a free agent. Let's see. All right, good. It, it lets us go back in for him. So we should be able to lock Messi down. He only wants one year extension, which is fine because we're only going to be doing one more year of this career mode. And there we go. Messi is in. All right, boys, this is it. The final season. Four trophies down. At least we need at least two more. And I want the Champions League again, man. We can't we can't fall to Arsenal this time. All right, who is gonna be our season three signing? So I think I still think what this team needs is a center back. Like, yeah, we, we we don't need a single attacker right now. Imagine another 90 rated center back next to Marquinhos. This team would literally be unstoppable. The only question is, what center back do I go for? So here's the list. The short list of players. Van Dyke, 90 rated. Laporte, 90 rated. Skriniar, 89 rated. I want to say right now, these are three of the top center backs in the world in this career mode. Man, I think we're going to take VVD off the table. And do we go for the younger, less overall, or the older, more overall? And I think, for the sake of this career mode, I'm going to go with Imeric Laporte. The former Frenchman returning him to his former home country. Oh my God. I almost just offered him 700 million. That would have gotten me fired from this club immediately. All right, Guardiola. What are we saying, man? 100 million. I I don't know how to do negotiations. FIFA 32. I've been overpaying for everyone. Okay. Now that that is said and done, Laporte is officially in. 
for not going to be going for screen ER. How would you guys have done things differently with your signings? To be honest, I don't know how you could have made this, this squad right here much better. Our worst players, our, uh, let's see, our left back in... Wijnaldum is still in there. You know, looking back, maybe we could have gone for KDB, but I'd, I think I'd rather have a strong defense. Messi will run the midfield, man, and hopefully, you know, I mean, when you're looking at a squad where your worst player is Wijnaldum at 85 overall, I think I think you're going to be just fine. Our main goal this season, do not let Arsenal win the Champions League. Let's get it done. Another cup final means that we're, we're, we're going to end up with six trophies. I just hope it's seven with the Champions League. Here we go. Nice. Shouldn't take this one as it's an automatic win because you never know. Because, oh, okay, there we go. It is a win. And Yari's no league on, man. What did I what did I call an automatic dub pretty much every year? Let's see. Yep, 92 points. We have one back to back to back league uh, uh, league titles and back to back league cups. This is it. This is for the treble. In our final season, let's make it happen. Four, one, and one. That's what we did last year. And if you guys do remember, we took an L in the round of 16. Will it happen in back-to-back -back seasons? It will. Dude, the city of Manchester is just dominating us. But hey, at least Arsenal didn't win. The final squad ratings. Yep, this team's insane, man. Let me repeat myself, man. Uh, PSG is off limits. I I've used them once. Um, no one else is allowed to use them again, again after this because it's a cheat code. You it's just like, it's it's too easy. I hope you guys did enjoy this PSG playthrough here on FIFA 22, the brand new game. So much more content coming to the channel, man, on FIFA 22. So I hope you guys did go on to enjoy this one. And with that, we will catch you guys later. Peace.